Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron, born August 7, 1975, is a South African and American actress and film producer. She is the recipient of several accolades, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, and the Silver Bear for Best Actress. Theron came to international prominence in the 1990s by playing the leading lady in the Hollywood films The Devil's Advocate, 1997, Mighty Joe Young, 1998, and The Cider House Rules, 1999. In 2003, she received critical acclaim for her portrayal of serial killer Aileen Warnos in Monster, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress becoming the first South African to win an Oscar in a major acting category. She received another Academy Award nomination for playing a sexually abused woman seeking justice in the drama North Country, 2005. Theron has since starred in several top-grossing action films, including Hancock, 2008, Snow White and the Huntsman, 2012, Prometheus, 2012, 2015, The Fate of the Furious, 2017, and Atomic Blonde, 2017. She also received praise for playing troubled women in Jason Reitman's comedy dramas Young Adult, 2011, and Tully, 2018, receiving Golden Globe Award nominations for both films. Since the early 2000s, Theron has ventured into film production with her company Denver and Delilah Productions. She has produced numerous films, in many of which she had a starring role, including The Burning Plain, 2008, and Dark Places, 2015. Theron became an American citizen in 2007, while retaining her South African citizenship. In 2016, Time named her in their annual Time 100 listing of the most influential people in the world. Theron was born in Benoni, in the then Transvaal province, now Hautang province, of South Africa, the only child of Gerda, Ney Meritz, and Charles Theron born November 27, 1947. Second Boer War figure Danny Theron was her great-great-uncle. She is from an Afrikaner family, and her ancestry includes Dutch as well as French and German. Her French forebears were early Huguenot settlers in South Africa. Theron is an Occitan surname, originally spelled Theron pronounced in Afrikaans as. She grew up on her parents' farm in Benoni, near Johannesburg. On June 21, 1991, Theron's father, an alcoholic, threatened both teenage Charlize and her mother while drunk, physically attacking her mother. Theron's mother then shot and killed him. The shooting was legally adjudged to have been self-defense, and her mother faced no charges. Theron attended Putfontein Primary School, Layer School Putfontein, a period during which she has said she was not fitting in. At 13, Theron was sent to boarding school and began her studies at the National School of the Arts in Johannesburg. Although Theron is fluent in English, her first language is Afrikaans. Although seeing herself as a dancer, Theron at 16 won a one-year modeling contract at a local competition in Salerno and with her mother moved to Milan, Italy. After Theron spent a year modeling throughout Europe, she and her mother moved to the U.S., both New York City and Miami. In New York, she attended the Joffrey Ballet School, where she trained as a ballet dancer until a knee injury closed this career path. As Theron recalled in 2008. At 19, Theron flew to Los Angeles, on a one-way ticket her mother bought for her intending to work in the film industry. During the initial months there, she went to a Hollywood Boulevard bank to cash a check her mother had sent to help with the rent. When the teller refused to cash it, Theron engaged in a shouting match with him. Upon seeing this, talent agent John Crosby, waiting behind her, handed her his business card and subsequently introduced her to casting agents and also an acting school. She later fired him as her manager after he kept sending her scripts for films similar to Showgirls and Species. After several months in the city, Theron made her film debut with a non-speaking role in the horror film, 1995. Her first speaking role was that of a hit woman in Two Days in the Valley, 1996. Though it was a small role, a lingerie-clad Theron was prominently featured on the movie poster, and film offers for hot chick parts quickly followed. But Theron turned them down. A lot of people were saying, you should just hit while the iron's hot, she remarked but playing the same part over and over doesn't leave you with any longevity. And I knew it was going to be harder for me, because of what I look like, to branch out to different kinds of roles. Larger roles in widely released Hollywood films followed, and her career expanded by the end of the 1990s. In the horror drama The Devil's Advocate, 1997, which is credited to be her breakout film, 
Theron starred alongside Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino as the haunted wife of an unusually successful lawyer. She subsequently starred in the adventure film Mighty Joe Young, 1998, as the friend and protector of a giant mountain gorilla, and in the drama The Cider House Rules, 1999, as an adopting mother in World War II era Maine. While Mighty Joe Young flopped at the box office, The Devil's Advocate and The Cider House Rules were commercially successful. She was on the cover of the January 1999 issue of Vanity Fair as the White Hot Venus. She also appeared on the cover of the May 1999 issue of Playboy magazine, in photos taken several years earlier when she was an unknown model, Theron unsuccessfully sued the magazine for publishing them without her consent. By the early 2000s, Theron continued to steadily take on roles in films such as Reindeer Games, 2000, The Yards, 2000, The Legend of Bagger Vance, 2000. Men of Honor, 2000, Sweet November, 2001, The Curse of the Jade Scorpion, 2001, and Trapped, 2002, all of which, despite achieving only limited commercial success, helped to establish her as an actress, she was briefly considered a new it girl. On this period in her career, Theron remarked, I kept finding myself in a place where directors would back me but studios didn't. I began, a love affair with directors, the ones I really, truly admired. I found myself making really bad movies, too. Reindeer Games was not a good movie, but I did it because I loved, director, John Frankenheimer. Theron starred as a safe and vault technician in the 2003 heist film The Italian Job, an American remake of the 1969 British film of the same name, directed by F. Gary Gray and opposite Mark Wahlberg, Edward Norton, Jason Statham, Seth Green, and Donald Sutherland. The film was a box office success grossing 176 million U.S. dollars worldwide. In Monster, 2003, Theron portrayed serial killer Aileen Warnos, a former prostitute who was executed in Florida in 2002 for killing six men. She was not raped for a seventh murder. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, film critic Roger Ebert felt that Theron gave one of the greatest performances in the history of cinema. For her portrayal, she was awarded the Academy Award for Best Actress at the 76th Academy Awards in February 2004, as well as the Screen Actors Guild Award and the Golden Globe Award. She is the first South African to win an Oscar for Best Actress. The Oscar win pushed her to the Hollywood Reporter's 2006 list of highest paid actresses in Hollywood, earning up to $10 million US dollars for a film, she ranked 7th. Ask Men also named her the number one most desirable woman of 2003. For her role of Swedish actress and singer Britt Eklund in the 2004 HBO film The Life and Death of Peter Sellers, Theron garnered Golden Globe Award and Primetime Emmy Award nominations. In 2005, she portrayed Rita, the mentally challenged love interest of Michael Bluth, Jason Bateman, on the third season of Fox's television series Arrested Development, and starred in the financially unsuccessful science fiction thriller Rion Flux. For her voiceover work in the Eon Flux video game, she received a Spike Video Game Award for Best Performance by a Human Female. In the critically acclaimed drama North Country, 2005, Theron portrayed a single mother and an iron mine worker experiencing sexual harassment. David Rooney of Variety wrote, The film represents a confident next step for lead Charlize Theron. Though the challenges of following a career redefining Oscar role have stymied actresses, Theron segues from monster to a performance in many ways more accomplished, the strength of both the performance and character anchor the film firmly in the tradition of other dramas about working-class women leading the fight over industrial workplace issues, such as Norma Ray or Silkwood. For her performance, she received Academy Award and Golden Globe Award nominations for Best Actress. Ms. Magazine also honored her for this performance with a feature article in its Fall 2005 issue. On September 30, 2005, Theron received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2007, Theron played a police detective in the critically acclaimed crime film In the Valley of Ella, and produced and starred as a reckless, slatternly mother in the little seen drama film Sleepwalking, alongside Nick Stahl and Anna Sophia Robb. The Christian Science Monitor praised the latter film, commenting that despite its deficiencies, and the inadequate screen time allotted to Theron, who's quite good, Sleepwalking has a core of feeling. In 2008, Theron starred as a woman who faced a traumatic childhood in the drama The Burning Plain, directed by Guillermo Arriaga and opposite Jennifer Lawrence and Kim Basinger, and also played the ex-wife of an alcoholic superhero alongside Will Smith in the superhero film Hancock. The Burning Plain found a limited release in theaters, 
but Hancock made $624.3 million US dollars worldwide. Also in 2008, Theron was named the Hasty Pudding Theatricals Woman of the Year, and was asked to be a UN Messenger of Peace by the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Her film releases in 2009 were the post-apocalyptic drama The Road, in which she briefly appeared in flashbacks, and the animated film Astral Boy, providing her voice for a character. On December 4, 2009, Theron co-presented the draw for the 2010 FIFA World Cup in Cape Town, South Africa, accompanied by several other celebrities of South African nationality or ancestry. During rehearsals she drew an Ireland ball instead of France as a joke at the expense of FIFA, referring to Thierry Henry's handball controversy in the playoff match between France and Ireland. The stunt alarmed FIFA enough for it to fear she might do it again in front of a live global audience. Following a two-year hiatus from the big screen, Theron returned to the spotlight in 2011 with the black comedy Young Adult. Directed by Jason Reitman, the film earned critical acclaim, especially for her performance as a depressed divorced, alcoholic 37-year-old ghostwriter. Richard Rope rewarded the film in A grade, stating Charlize Theron delivers one of the most impressive performances of the year. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award and several other awards. In 2011, describing her process to portray a character on screen, she said. In 2012, Theron took on the role of villain in two big-budgeted films. She played evil Queen Ravenna, Snow White's evil stepmother, in Snow White and the Huntsman, opposite Kristen Stewart and Chris Hemsworth, and appeared as a crew member with a hidden agenda in Ridley Scott's Prometheus. Miklos Al of the San Francisco Chronicle found Snow White and the Huntsman to be, a, slow, boring film that has no charm and is highlighted only by a handful of special effects and Charlize Theron's truly evil queen, while the Hollywood reporter writer Todd McCarthy, describing her role in Prometheus, asserted, Theron is in ice goddess mode here, with the emphasis on ice, but perfect for the role all the same. Both films were major box office hits, grossing around 400 million US dollars internationally each. In 2013, Vulture, and YMAG named her the 68th most valuable star in Hollywood saying, We're just happy that Theron can stay on the list in a year when she didn't come out with anything, any actress who's got that kind of skill, beauty, and ferocity ought to have a permanent place in Hollywood. In 2014, Theron took on the role of the wife of an infamous sheepherder in the Western comedy film A Million Ways to Die in the West, directed by Seth MacFarlane, which was met with mediocre reviews and moderate box office returns. In 2015, Theron played the sole survivor of the massacre of her family in the film adaptation of the Gillian Flynn novel Dark Places, directed by Gilles Paquet Brenner, in which she had a producer credit, and starred as Imperator Furiosa in, 2015, opposite Tom Hardy. Mad Max received widespread acclaim, with praise going towards Theron for the dominant nature taken by her character. The film made 378.4 million US dollars worldwide. Theron reprised her role as Queen Ravenna in the 2016 film, a sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman, which was a critical and commercial failure. In 2016, Theron also starred as a physician and activist working in West Africa in a little scene romantic drama The Last Face, with Sean Penn provided her voice for the 3D stop-motion fantasy film Kubo and the Two Strings, and produced the independent drama Brain on Fire. In 2017, Theron starred in The Fate of the Furious, as the main antagonist of the entire franchise, and played a spy on the eve of the collapse of the Berlin Wall in 1989 in Atomic Blonde, an adaptation of the graphic novel The Coldest City, directed by David Leitch. With a worldwide gross of 1.2 billion US dollars, the Fate of the Furious became Theron's most widely seen film, and Atomic Blonde was described by Richard Roper of the Chicago Sun-Times as a slick vehicle for the magnetic, badass charms of Charlize Theron, who is now officially an A-list action star on the strength of this film in Mad Max, Fury Road. In the black comedy Tully, 2018, directed by Jason Reitman and written by Diablo Cody, Theron played an overwhelmed mother of three. The film was acclaimed by critics who concluded it delves into the modern parenthood experience with an admirably deft blend of humor and raw honesty, brought to life by an outstanding performance by Charlize Theron. She also played the president of a pharmaceutical in the little-seen crime film Gringo, released in 2018. The Charlize Theron Africa Outreach Project, CTAP, was created in 2007 by Theron, who the next year was named a UN Messenger of Peace in an effort to support African youth in the fight against HIV-AIDS. 
Cheops' mission is to help keep African youth safe from HIV AIDS. The project is committed to supporting community engaged organizations that address the key drivers of the disease. Although the geographic scope of Cheop is Sub Saharan Africa, the primary concentration has mostly been Charlize's home country of South Africa. Cheops' approach is based on the belief that community based organizations on the ground understand the social and structural relationships of their communities better than anyone. By supporting these organizations through grant giving, networking, and spotlighting their work, CTAOP enables communities to mobilize and empower themselves to prevent HIV. In 2008, Theron was named the United Nations Messenger of Peace. In his citation, Ban Ki-moon said of Theron you have consistently dedicated yourself to improving the lives of women and children in South Africa, and to preventing and stopping violence against women and girls. She recorded a public service announcement in 2014 as part of their Stop Rape Now program. In December 2009, Cheop and Tom Shoe's partner did create a limited edition unisex shoe. The shoe was made from vegan materials and inspired by the African baobab tree, the silhouette of which was embroidered on blue and orange canvas. 10,000 pairs were given to destitute children, and a portion of the proceeds went to Cheop. Theron is involved in women's rights organizations and has marched in pro-choice rallies. Theron also is a supporter of animal rights and active member of PETA. She appeared in a PETA ad for its Andy 4 campaign. Theron is a supporter of same-sex marriage and attended a march and rally to support that in Fresno, California. On May 30, 2009. She publicly stated that she refused to get married until same-sex marriage became legal in the United States, saying, I don't want to get married because right now the institution of marriage feels very one-sided, and I want to live in a country where we all have equal rights. I think it would be exactly the same if we were married, but for me to go through that kind of ceremony, because I have so many friends who are gays and lesbians who would so badly want to get married, that I wouldn't be able to sleep with myself. Theron further elaborated on her stance in a June 2011 interview on Piers Morgan Tonight. She stated, I do have a problem with the fact that our government hasn't stepped up enough to make this federal, to make, gay marriage, legal. I think everybody has that right. In March 2014, Cheop was among the charities that benefited from the annual fame and philanthropy fundraising event on the night of the 86th Academy Awards. Theron was an honored guest along with Halle Berry and keynote speaker James Cameron. In 2015, Theron signed an open letter which the One Campaign had been collecting signatures for. The letter was addressed to Angela Merkel and Nkosa Zana de la Minizuma, urging them to focus on women as they serve as the head of the G7 in Germany and the AU in South Africa respectively, which will start to set priorities in development funding before a main UN summit in September 2015 that will establish new development goals for the generation. Having signed a deal with John Galliano in 2004, Theron replaced Estonian model Tiukik as the spokeswoman in the Jador advertisements by Christian Dior. From October 2005 to December 2006, Theron earned 3 million US dollars for the use of her image in a worldwide print media advertising campaign for Raymond Weil watches. In February 2006, she and her corporate entity were sued by Weil for breach of contract. The lawsuit was settled on November 4, 2008. In 2007, Theron became a naturalized citizen of the United States, while retaining her South African citizenship. Theron has two children, both adopted. She adopted a boy in March 2012, and a girl, in July 2015. She lives in Los Angeles. Theron was in a three-year relationship with singer Stefan Jenkins until October 2001. Some of Third Eye Blind's third album, Out of the Vein, explores the emotions Jenkins experienced as a result of their breakup. Theron began a relationship with Irish actor Stuart Townsend after meeting him on the set of the 2002 film Trapped. The couple lived together in Los Angeles and Ireland. Theron split from Townsend in January 2010. In December 2013, Theron began dating American actor Sean Penn. The two announced their engagement in December 2014. Theron ended their relationship in June 2015. As a child, Theron had suffered from jaundice that caused dental problems. She said in an interview that I had no teeth until I was 11. I had these fangs because I had jaundice when I was a kid and I was put on so many antibiotics that my teeth rotted. They had to cut them out. So I never had baby teeth. While filming Eon Flux in Berlin, Germany, Theron suffered a herniated disc in her neck, caused by a fall while filming a series of back handsprings. It required her to wear a neck brace for a month. In July 2009, 
she was diagnosed with a serious stomach virus, thought to be contracted while overseas. While filming the road, Theron injured her vocal cords during the labor screaming scenes. Both Theron and her mother, Gerda Meritz, had sleeping problems. For this, they each tried marijuana laced edibles to see if it would help. Newspaper headlines subsequently identified her mother as her weed supplier. However, Theron has since stopped using marijuana. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.